As kids head back to school, many are going back to schools that still need more teachers. Good evening. I'm Tim Callahan. And I'm Jackie Parks. Kern County, like the rest of California, is now facing a teacher shortage. And County Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Christine Frazier, sat down with me to discuss that and another issue that parents will soon see popping up in their mailboxes. Very, very looking forward. I mean, I was ready to come back a month ago. Rebecca Peralt has been a teacher for more than 20 years, and her enthusiasm has not diminished. I can't wait to get to school. Um, I love to see their faces. Um, I love to see children when they finally get something, when they make that connection. It is a profession that is extremely rewarding. County Superintendent Dr. Christine Frazier says it's that passion that draws teachers to the classroom. You see change in kids, and you're able to change the future and there are very few careers that allow you to do that. But Kern County, like the rest of California, is facing a significant shortage of teachers, retirements, population growth producing more students, and a lack of new teachers all taking a toll. Two to three years ago when we were laying off teachers, we told each other, you know what's going to happen. This discourages students from entering the credential program and in three to four years we're going to have a teacher shortage. And sure enough, here we are. In the 2009-2010 school year, the state issued just more than 20,000 teaching credentials. In 2013 to 2014, that number plummeted to fewer than 15,000, a 26 percent drop. Frazier says one solution is providing more quality programs that produce quality teachers. It's not enough just to promote teaching. We also have to have viable credential programs for potential candidates to be able to enroll. A shortage of teachers isn't the only issue facing schools this year. In the weeks ahead, parents and schools will see the results from last year's Smarter Balance testing, the first gauge of how students are adjusting to the Common Core curriculum. Dr. Frazier advises people not be too quick to react if the results are lower than years past. The tests are completely different. The scoring is completely different. So you can't compare the two tests. What parents and teachers can do, she says, is to use the test as a means of determining where students need help, which this test will reveal. And it is harder and we have raised the bar and I think that that's good for our kids because we want them to compete so we don't want to pretend that they're uh, achieving when they have the potential of achieving a lot more I have a lot of faith in our kids I think that they're gonna rise to the occasion and Dr. Frazier says those test results should probably start arriving sometime in September <laughs>